Let's go over how to use the jetting calculator for Keyheim. Let me find the page I want. That's not it. That's not it. That's not quite it either. Where is it? There it is. This is an Excel spreadsheet and the uh, cells, uh, the boxes in which you can input information are colored in light blue. All this information right here is used to process this graph right here. This is the actual jetting curve from one eighth slide open to fully open and this is the amount of richness of jetting, 1.0 being perfect. So the ideal jetting would be a straight line right here and that's the red graph. This one you can see the the variations that's that's slight enough where you wouldn't even feel the difference writing it. You might feel the difference you know maybe five percent off at, at near full throttle but down here forget it. That's one benefit of this jetting calculator. Uh, a lot of times you just feel that something is is off at the lower throttle settings and you can't really put your finger on it. You don't know if you go, need to go richer, need to go leaner, but a jetting calculator can tell you exactly what it's doing. So all this information is pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory and when you hover over um, a heading box that has a, a red corner then it'll show uh, an informational display that helps you understand what that's about. So you've got your idle jet number here, you've got the main jet number here, you've got the needle ID right here, but actually that's just for your reference, it, it doesn't read it. Uh, you have to enter into the, the degrees and the um, minutes of the needle taper, and what is minutes? Minutes is one way of defining degrees, and in this case, 45 minutes, you divide that by 60, and that gives you uh, 0.75, so that's 1.75 degrees. So you divide that by 60, you add it to 1, that's the, the total degrees of the, the taper. If you know the, uh, the code of the needle, which is usually printed on the needle, you can enter it here. For this series of carburetors, or here, for this series of carburetors, or this number, which I think is more of a, um, I'm not sure if that's aftermarket or, or OEM, but when you enter in the different codes here, it'll show the degrees, the minutes, uh, the L1 length, and the uh, maximum diameter. And that diameter is what you have to enter right here those minutes right here and that degree right here and then it'll compute the, uh, the, the the taper diameter at each position that you have the slide open at but uh, most important is the amount of millimeters the slide is open let me see if I can find that The number of millimeters the slide is open when the beginning of the needle taper is right at the top of the narrow portion of the needle jet. Right now I'm going to let you show a, a video of me finding that, that transition where the taper starts, inserting the slide needle in the carburetor, uh, looking, uh, positioning that so that a dot that I placed at that beginning taper point is right there and then uh, placing a dot on the slide and then measuring the slide dis distance and then that is subtracted from the car bore to get this distance right here. So we'll look at that section of video right now. Okay so now that we that you have a good visual idea of how that process is this is just my universal way of getting that that uh, that detail that the program wants and it is a very important detail so right here is where you put the slide distance that it's open 
when the taper is right at the top of the needle jet and you're off to the races pretty much uh, just some other details here about the cutaway distance if you've got a needle shroud which is this right here if it if there's an extension upward here that's that's a needle shroud and on my side there's a listing of which carburetors have it, which ones don't or you can just look and measure that distance and put that height right here um, on key heights there's only two needle uh, needle jet hole diameters and right here the little note tells you which one which models have the 2.9 and which models have the 2.6 so um, when when you're looking at the graph here if this if before one half throttle is is too rich you can um, increase this distance right here which makes it leaner you see that go down okay and if it's too lean you can in, uh, decrease the distance right here okay but normally this is typically this is just a little bit under one quarter the the carb size so one if that was 36 one quarter of 36 would be nine so probably about eight millimeters in this case so that's pretty much it um when you enter in you know like let's say as, as good as you can get it is you know maybe you're questioning whether or not it's any good okay so you record the results you click on this macro and it records the results and it's recorded right here as that green graph and let's say you want to change it to a needle that has a slightly different taper angle and you can see the difference right there how that that uh, decreased taper caused it to be leaner past one with our three-eighths slide open and you can record that and then you can you know if you're trying different needles maybe it's got a different needle diameter you can change that Ooh. and record that you know so at the end you've got you've got different ones you can look at you can see the whole range there whatever gets you closest to the uh, 1.0 that's what you want and when you're done with that you want to clear it just hit this right here two three four five seconds to clear it and I think that's about it uh, you can you can type in any notes you want about the car or the bike right here and yeah baby that's that's about all I've got to say on the subject. Thanks for watching.